flash in the sky is the supersonic gun trail of Beaumark, the long-range air defense missile. Its mission, defense of wide areas in a shoulder-to-shoulder -shoulder teamwork with manned interceptors of the United States Air Force. Masterminded by the SAGE ground control system, the Boeing Beaumark is equally deadly from low to extremely high altitudes. Come enemy aircraft or missiles, one or 100, Beaumark is ready to fight singly or in salvos. Operational bases for this highly sophisticated missile are being built rapidly on carefully selected sites throughout the United States. And while still more bases are planned, the Beaumark missiles keep rolling off the assembly line at Boeing's pilotless aircraft division plant at Seattle, Washington. From Seattle, Beaumark missiles are airlifted to the Air Force Missile Test Center at Cape Canaveral, Florida. Beaumark's surefire reliability is fast becoming proverbial. Yet at the famous Cape, United States Air Force missile men continue their tactical test program, probing, improving, leaving nothing to chance. Here, a test Beaumark is being prepared for another launching. Beaumark's hydraulic sinews and its electronic nervous system are designed for easy access, simple, reliable maintenance. Ground check completed, the Beaumark missile is taken to its launcher shelter. Here, the missile is placed on its launcher. Fueled ready to obey a push-button firing command with unerring precision. Beaumark's firing countdown is automatic. Thus, with their work done, the missile men watch, confident in their bird of prey, as a radio-controlled bomber drone is taken off. The drone will fly far out over the Atlantic, become an enemy in a mock attack. Long-range radar sweeps the sky. The target is spotted and tracked. Target's altitude, speed, and direction are flashed instantly to the Sage Control Center at Kingston, New York, 1,500 miles away. Here is the Air Force controllers watch their radar scopes. Electronic computers digest the target data and feed the last-minute instructions to the waiting Beaumark missile. A button is pushed in Kingston, and back in Florida, Beaumark obeys the command. Much faster than twice the speed of sound, the missile seeks out its target. Within minutes from launching, Beaumark accomplishes its intercept. Special cameras on the wings of the drone provide the record of the interception. During this test program, Beaumark missiles have been fired at many targets. In a variety of simulated combat situations. Head on. Quarter attacks. Beam attacks. At various altitudes. And at all kinds of maneuvers. And no amount evasive tactics could ever foil Beaumark's supersonic strikes. Here is a partial record of Boeing Beaumark's victories scored in the summer and fall of 1958. June 9th. June 20th. June 26th. On August 15th, a Beaumark bird struck, shearing off the tail surface of this drone. August 21st. And on September 24th, a Beaumark missile intercepted another supersonic missile, this X-10, an 1,100 miles per hour target. This drone was damaged on the recovery landing, and the movie cameras were destroyed by fire. To test Beaumark's rapid fire capability, the Kingston, New York Sage Center remotely launched two Beaumark missiles within seconds from each other. Both missiles successfully intercepted two assigned drones at widely divergent points more than 120 miles out over the Atlantic. One drone, rammed by the unarmed Beaumark, spun into the sea. The 
the other drone escaped destruction. The intercepting Bomark exploded its simulated warhead, coming within three feet of actual collision. These few highlights of the Bomark scoring record are only the beginning. As Bomark missiles joined the United States arsenal of modern defensive weapons, Boeing engineers and technicians are working on Bomark's improved version, harder hitting, farther reaching Bomark B will soon make the score even more spectacular. The Bomark weapon system is the most modern component of the split second air defense team. The following sequence shows how Bomark would fight in the event of an actual enemy attack. The basic element of any future attempted attack on our continent will be surprise. Ever increasing bomber speeds and the megatons of destructive power whittle down the safety margin. The time between detection and destruction is a matter of minutes. Constant vigilance, integration of defensive weapon systems, and their hair trigger reaction are the only solution to the problem of the nuclear age survival. Enemy raids must be intercepted as far as possible from the potential target areas. Early detection is of prime importance. To accomplish this, our warning radar network to the north includes a series of radar barriers. Northernmost is the Dew Line. In central Canada, there is the Mid-Canada Line. And on the U.S.-Canadian border, the Pine Tree Line. Keeping a radar eye on the eastern and western approaches from seaward are Texas Towers, picket ships, and early warning radar aircraft. Upon detection of the enemy, information is flashed to lightning-fast computers at the SAGE direction centers. Electronically processed data and orders are sped to strategically located Bomark bases. Bomark missiles, the nuclear-armed, long-range sluggers of the United States Air Force Area Defense Team, receive the orders and rocket themselves aloft within seconds. Each missile is initially controlled by ground SAGE command. Electronic impulses pass information of the whereabouts of the enemy to the speeding Bomar. When Bomar reaches the target area, its own self-contained target seeker takes over. It searches a wide volume of space and locks on for the kill. Thus will Bomar fulfill its mission as a push-button member of a swift, deadly team of the Air Force's defensive and retaliatory weapon system. Such a team makes it clear to any potential enemy that attack on the North American continent is a suicidal mission. 